And we're back to chipping away at a galaxy that doesn't want to be saved. Ran and Dark, Mass Effect 2. Hello! Finally got the whole team, aside from one that we still don't know who is. Now we can start dealing with all their emotional, psychological, or whatever the fuck baggage. I mean, we could just stay here and help Miranda, but we'll, do, we'll deal with her issue later. Right now we have priorities, and that priority is named Junka. So, Ran, what do you think uh, the Krogan homeworld is going to look like based on what you know of them? Um, probably not very fertile. What do you think? Jungle? Barren? I said probably not very fertile, so... I mean, yeah. it, can, it can have plants and not be fertile. Uh, We're talking I'm not expecting to have many plants. Well, good, because it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. Scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline seas. Tuchunka can barely support life. Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Arlok, a right clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. Tree analogs grew in thick jungles, their roots growing out of shallow, silty seas. Life fed upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. A little ice age of nuclear winter killed off much of the remaining plant life. In recent centuries... Huh? In the figure. Yeah. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. The reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise. In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It is maintained by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, CDEM, which is based on orbiting battle stations. CDEM advisory. Visitors to Tachunka land at their own risk. CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by Git Clan warfare. Travel advisory. The ecolog ecology of Tachunka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. What a pleasant place. Yeah. The fact that there's surviving vegetation at all tells you that you should be wary of that surviving vegetation. Yep. We'll start with Morden. Yay! Mm. And, um, let's bring the assassin, actually. Thing it is. Yeah. It's a new one, got to bring him around. Mm hmm. So, now that I think about it, probably should bring. Her. We'll bring him next time. Yeah. We'll probably visit this place more than once after that. Yep. Let's see. Big fireball or strong fireball? Ooh. Uh, I think strong fireball. Strong fireball it is. And he has heavy yeet. Which is not bad. I also tells you he's a biotic. So I noticed. You know, I am like ninety percent sure that this Landing bay is actually an old, uh, no, an old missile silo. Wouldn't even surprise me. <coughs> well, welcome to Tachunka. Hey, we've seen them before. Yeah. yeah. Well, what I mean, from it? where? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty though. Oh, it builds character. <laughs> I'm uh, sure they'll figure out their differences. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. Alright, the blood pack. Don't even try. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Talk to the <laughs> alien. If we decide 
decide you're not welcome, you'll know just before we kill you. Uh huh. Yeah, I think the clan leader would like to disagree on that one. So I would even bring care or something. Care is not get two shit. I mean, yeah, but it might be start unnecessary fight. Just out there, or cheap. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. I guess we should have brother. Oh well. Well, we get to we'll get to that because we can pick up a um, heavy weapon ammo upgrade. So then we need to head back to Normandy to get the up the upgraded heavy weapon anyway. Fair enough. Hold. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Out of my Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. <laughs> Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. Yeah. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Big <laughs> one spoken to, Ulvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. <laughs> People will think you're weak. Uh, Smack! <laughs> How's the Normandy? Destroyed in the collector's surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. <laughs> Good times indeed. What's wrong with Grunt, even though he's not here? We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Also, I'm my memory's a little foggy on it, but I'm 90% sure every time I've come here before, he's wearing his old red armor. So I'm guessing doing the ancestral armor means he's wearing that right now. Um, yeah, that would... That's probably... Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. <laughs> also, uh, I didn't know about it until I read about it, but what Uvink over there is wearing. You remember the um, armor we got like right at the end of the game that was we kept going, this is light armor? Mm -hmm. uh, we actually fought someone earlier wearing it. I don't know if you caught that. But apparently what Uvink yeah. over there is wearing is basically the Krogan variant of it with all the Tron lines and shit. Um... Shame we didn't find that shit. <laughs> How do you maintain yeah. security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. My god. That sounds almost diplomatic. Right? That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. 
They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Yeah, that sounds a lot more like Krogan. <laughs> Every clan has different customs, rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Jorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. Agreed. Mm-hmm. What do the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Earth not now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Earth not. <laughs> Sounds ambitious. Enough. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained barren, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. <laughs> Says a lot about Krogan culture where he can just say that right in front of them, and Uvenk takes it. It's like, it's like, what are you going to do? <laughs> so I was like, I can't do anything. Either <laughs> Rex, will, e either Rex will thrash me, the human will, or the rest of the Krogan here will. It's like, yeah, I can't. The feel it's like he it goes against the idea of the neutral hub, but well, at the same time he knows very well that actually start shit in the neutral hub. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed, even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. Fair enough. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the blood pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much That's of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchonka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he considers those to be safe and homey. <laughs> right? I mean, at least I lose as, you know, it's practically entirely no. home. Yeah. Yeah. dealing with yeah. the Baron attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. You don't want anything I sell, human. It'll tear your insides like you swallowed knives. <laughs> Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an Erdnot. Except you. I don't business is business. I of turning away paying customers. Yep. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. <laughs> what do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Ring Call's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough and tear your insides apart. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I should go. Suit yourself. So they're probably a bit bigger than monkey. 
I mean, you you, saw, you probably saw one running around in the back over here. I kind of didn't notice I was looking at the You remember, remember that time time we had to chase down a bunch of monkeys for a uh, piece of a satellite? Oh, those things. Pie jacks. At least they have a name, man. Heavy weapon ammo. I'll take that. This should come in handy. Increase the shields by 5%. Like Death mask increases negotiation bonus by ten percent. They're both pretty cheap, so we might as well. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the Varen. Doggo! Good Varen. You can pet the doggo! Stay. Yeah. Yes! He is bestest boy. <laughs> I think that the war makes me happy. Hmm. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. The sun. Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. I mean, it's... I'm surprised. I'm surprised the monkey, like, I'm surprised the wrinkle doesn't tear the monkey's sides apart. It probably does, they're just too stupid to know. Watch it, human. Uh, Fuck off. I mean, the Baron does in a bit more aggressive. Like with the instinct to kill, the Krogan are creatures of such pure, almost innocent reflex. Yeah. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. You didn't say you were going to talk to me. <coughs> I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Werelock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. We get that truck? I mean, it's no makeup, but. We don't get to drive it. Oh. It's just a loading screen. Obviously, we have to have Morden. And I recommend Tally or Jacob solely for some dialogue humor. Tally. Tally, it is. Wasn't even up. Fair enough. Trucks on a chunk have a better suspension than the fucking Mako ever did. Yeah. Though supposedly that's something that they're fixing in the um, Legendary Edition of Mass Effect. Nice. Updating the physics engine and hopefully smoothing out the goddamn terrain. <laughs> I was about to ask that. <laughs> You're just waiting for me to bitch about it. Thank you. Will they also fix the noise brush? <sighs> Alright. Let's find us a Solarian. And I guess on the way back we also get quad selection so we can just take uh, ground on the way back, I suppose. Probably. You know, assuming the assuming it doesn't just instant the mission and takes us back to the normal game. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that part out. Do they have a codex entry? Not that I'm aware of. But they're aggressive and they explode. That's all I that's all I really need to know. Oh, and they die when I shoot them. Enough times. That was important. Ah, my shield can take it. Enjoy. Indeed, it could. Okay, Morden, shut the fuck out.
Yeah, I can see what you mean, Morton. Mm -hmm. He said close combat, problematic. Yeah. Especially when Krogan had it end. Okay. No, Krogan. Didn't want to pick a shotgun, but I guess I'm picking shotgun. Yeah, I guess not even the blood pack would really be in Borcha. I mean, they brought a few. Yeah, I guess. There's probably nearly as many as the other guys were. There were like one or two Krogan and everything in Borcha. Alright. This is Krogan. Oh, they're still in me. For the optics! I am such a fucking bad shot. This isn't really anything new. Hey, could one of y'all have, like, fucking dropped a thermal clip for me? <laughs> Come on. There you go. Just need a bastard out of cover. You know, going into Berserk Rage only works if, you, if you're not horribly exposed to yourself. Yeah, you show me. This might be valuable to someone. Don't ask. Repurposed to Krogan Hospital. Sounds Sturdy, right? built to withstand punishment. Odd to see the Krogan devote so many resources to caring for the sick. Hospitals important to Krogan. Sites of honor. Focus for repopulation. Yeah, it's not so much for healing as much as breathing. That body, human. Need to take a look. Sores, tumors, ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles, track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Mm. Victim of experimentation. I don't suppose there's a way to tell who this poor bastard was? No tattoos or ID. Maybe slave or prisoner. Maybe merc or pirate. Irrelevant now. Clearly part of Krogan tests to cure genophage. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Vera. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. <laughs> I mean, it's a good rule. Wouldn't something native to Tachanka work better? Baron, maybe? Yes. Human experiments strictly high-level, concept testing. Native to Chanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varen until necessary. Powerful bite. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal pineal glands, modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. So I'm assume, I am kind of assume amused that the Borcha aren't just stupid, they are completely incapable of calculus. Ever. Uh, I think you're confusing Borcha and Varen. Varen are the attack dogs. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Do uh, you think they're close to curing the genophage? I wouldn't put it past Can't though. say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure the odds of finding a. Vorture capable of calculus are low. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No, ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guesses. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. 
but human probability curve offers greater overall variety. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Malin. Too late to help the dead. Not wrong. So, what was that weird creature we fought called? Because I didn't really catch the name. Flexen, I think it's called. Oh boy, I love this conversation. I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. Kroger don't generally let people go. What does Clan Werelock have planned? If you walk away now, you can tell your children that you saw Clan Werelock before our blood pack conquered the stars. You think the Erd not impressive? They are pitiful! Warlock Gold will destroy them! The Salarian will cure the Genophage, and Clan Warlock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood! Appears they discovered Malin's work. So. Unfortunate. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the Genophage. No human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wrong. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan rebellions will become- You talk too much. See? The human cannot hit a simple target. <laughs> Guards just backing up like, uh-uh. <laughs> I get the feeling they don't really regenerate the wall in fire. No, they do not regenerate fast enough for that shit. Also, yeah. The renegade one was worth it. Oh, yes, absolutely. I just love that the, the, the bodyguards start backing up like, uh uh. They're dumb enough to stay and fight, but they're smart enough to know what, what's about to go down. Shut up. No, no, like I can say much in there. But then again, I usually just wait for them to stop moving. So I yeah, you don't always have happen. that option. I mean, that is playstyle to playstyle anyway. Anyway, Vixen are an insectoid species resembling crabs or beetles. Hmm. They can also breathe fire, but... Lab's likely through there. Can smell antiseptic, hint of dead flesh. Sometimes I'm really glad I can turn off my mask's olfactory filters. Mm -hmm. right. If there is a code entry, this place doesn't tell me what. Active console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences, hormone mutagens is still steady. Protein chains, live tissue, clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment vectors, avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Gordon. Not developing, modifying, much more difficult, working within confines of existing genophage, a hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable could cause total sterility, malignant tumors could even reduce effectiveness worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable. One in 1,000. Perfect target, optimal growth. Like gardening. <coughs> You're saying you were working just as hard to keep their population from falling? Yes. Could have eradicated Krogan. Not difficult. Increased mutation to degrade genetic structure further. Chose not to. Rachni extinction tragic. Didn't want to repeat. All life Precious. Universe demands diversity. Pretty it up however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No, 
murdered no one. Altered fertility prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but not with medicine. Once with farming equipment. That's a story I want to hear. What was it like mm -hmm. working on the Genophage Modification Project? Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us, got anything we wanted. Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No. All changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. Sounds like you were pretty important. How'd you go from that to running a clinic on Omega? Wanted to heal people. Good use of last decade. Something easy. No ethical concerns. Understand rationale for modified genophage. Right choice, still. Hard to sleep some nights. Yeah. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morton? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices. Refuse truce during Krogan rebellions. Expand after Rachni wars. Splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus. Damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. So if the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that? Yes. United Krogan saved galaxy. Destroyed Rachni. Genophage, not punishment. Simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. The effects on Tachanka are still your responsibility. You upgraded the virus that kept them in barbarism. Krogan committed war crimes. Refused to negotiate. Turian defeat not complete. Krogan could have recovered. Attacked again. Conventional war too risky. Krogan forces too strong. Genophage was only option. Krogan forced Genophage. Us or them. No apologies for winning. Wouldn't have minded peaceful solution. We're not gonna find Malin staring at consoles. Come on. Yeah, that's uh... Like, he agrees it was a hard choice, but he also is very certain that it was the only choice. Yep. Dead Krogan, female. Tumors indicate experimentation. No restraint marks. Volunteer. Sterile, warlock, female. Willing to risk procedures. Hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. I didn't expect you to be disturbed by the sight of a dead probe. What? Why? Because of genophage work? Irrelevant. No. Causative. Never experimented on live Krogan. Never killed with medicine. Her death not my work. Only reaction to it. Goal was to stabilize population. Never wanted this. Can see it logically. But still unnecessary. Foolish. Waste of life. Hate to see it. I didn't think you'd had much direct contact with things like this. Did you come to Tachanka after dropping your plague? Yearly recon missions. Water, tissue samples. Ensure no mistakes. Superiors offered to carry it on. Refused. Need to see it in person. Need to look. Need to see. Accept it as necessary. See small picture. Remind myself why I run a clinic on Omega. Rest. Young mother, find your gods. Find someplace better. I didn't expect spirituality from you, Morton. Genophage modification project altered millions of lives. Then saw results. Ego, humility, juxtaposition, frailty of life, size of universe. Explored religions after work completed. Different races. No answers. Many questions. Sounds like you were trying to deal yeah, with your guilty conscience. The doctor killed millions. Modified Genophage project great in scope, scientifically brilliant, but ethically difficult. Krogan reaction visceral, tragic, not guilty, but responsible. Trained as doctor, Genophage affects fertility, doesn't kill, still caused this. Hard to see big picture behind pile of corpses. Can you really just rationalize it all away? How do you justify it? Wheel of life. Popular Salarian concept, similar to human Hinduism in focus on reincarnation. 
appealing to see life as endless. Fix mistakes in next life. Learn, adapt, improve. Refuse to believe life ends here. Too wasteful. Have more to offer. Mistakes to fix cannot end here. Could do so much more. If you need this much soul searching to get over it, maybe the genophage was wrong. Had to be done. Rachni wars, Krogan rebellions, all pointed to Krogan aggression. So many simulations. Effects of Krogan population increase. All pointed to war. Extinction. Genophage or genocide. Save galaxy from Krogan. Save Krogan from galaxy. You could have cured the genophage instead. Brought hope to the Krogan. They'd have rejoiced. Assumes human reaction. Krogan stimulus response different. Harsh environment. Take chance to fight. Flee. Would have caused chaos on Tuchanka. Victor would have war economy, bloodthirsty army. Galactic expansion, only logical outcome. More war. Genophage saved lives, war would have ended. So you're willing to sterilize a species based on the evidence of a few simulations? Yes, millions of data points, years of arguments, countless scenarios, all noted Krogan fragmentation as dangerous. No unified... That's more than just a few simulations. ...have been war. Turians and humans destroying Krogan utterly. Genophage was better. Saved lives. <sighs> look at the dead woman, Morton. It doesn't look like you saved her. No, it doesn't. Worked with available data. Only option. No other possible. Doesn't matter. Just because you took the only option doesn't matter. Okay. Sometimes there is no right answer. You killed the Blood Pack guards. Not Blood Pack, not member of Clan Werelock. Wrong clan markings. Remember, not Scout. Werelock guard got me. Brought me here. The Chief Scout told us to watch for you. We've taken out the guards. Get back to Erdna. I can't. The Werloff did things to me. Drugs. Injections. Said I was sacrificing for the good of all Krogan. Experiments to cure the genophage. Everything's blurry. Hard to think. I have to stay. Morton, can you get him back on his feet? Stims, maybe? Something to bolster his immune system? You don't understand. I'm not too sick to leave. I have to stay. They're curing the genophage. They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable, susceptible, brainwashed. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the females. I'll never have kids of my own. But if I help undo the genophage, then I matter. Millions of children will be born. Werelock children. They're going to destroy the other clans. But... No. No, they said I was helping Erdnog. If you want to help Erdnot, you need to get back there. But it would take a real badass to make it back to camp while injured. I can do it. You? I said a badass, not some scout whining like a quarian with a tummy ache. I'm standing right here. <laughs> I can do it. I'm up. And I'm going to the female camp. Damn right you are. Get back there and show them what you're worth. Go. Go. <laughs> I can't believe that water. <laughs> That's all she has to say about it. But, wow, that actually worked. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, she can't really complain about the reference anymore when she's. <laughs> I oh, mean, she's this wide you say that I guess. Can't complain with results. Not wrong. But first, 
Wow. Well done, me. <laughs> I know I'm usually the sniper. I swear I'm better than this. Okay, we're standing still. Not only that, but I failed to notice that I only had one round in the magazine. Yeah. Feel free to go ahead and blink to this thing, of course. Fuck. Thought I was harmless, did you? Morden, stop being a dumbass. What did he do? Look at what he's hiding behind. And Tally, too. Oh. <coughs> stop being idiots. Hey, it's Hey, money. Always need more of that. Yeah, we need all the money. Yay. I like how much more quickly Krog can go down in this game. Right, they don't just go down and then immediately get that. Yeah, they don't constantly regenerate at a stupid rate. Mm -hmm. Enemies inbound. Do at least with the closing in my I'm just left the horses. Yeah. At least they got us well deserved. <clears throat> Can I not take cover here? Yeah, like, that's one of the main things I'm wondering about the legendary edition. Will they fix the husks? Probably not. Yeah, I first can hope. Okay. Close enough. You know, Gold, char uh, leaning down to roar only works when your enemy is out of ammo. Mm. You know, while I'm thinking about it, because I kind of embarrassed myself again. Melee, melee, melee. What is melee? F. So I slightly missed the melee button right then. <clears throat> I could have punched him in the face, but instead I just had to shoot him. Oh, well. Yeah, well. Free loot. Money. More heavy weapon ammo. Cool. Nice. What was useful? Man, alive, unharmed. No signs of restraint. No evidence of torture. Don't understand. For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student. I looked up to you. Experiments performed to you. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Morton, did you ever perform experiments like this? No, never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? 
That'll be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. The Batarian attacks in the Traverse, Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition. Impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God and we failed. We only made things worse. And I'm going to fix it. Would have failed regardless. Sovereign's a Reaper. Yeah. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. Why work with Clan Warelock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Warlock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Erdnot has a larger camp than Warlock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments I needed. It's Erdnot's loss and Warlock's gain. Their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed. Malin clearly doesn't need rescue. What do you want to do? Have to end this. You can't face the truth, can you? can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity! Unacceptable experiments. Unacceptable goals. Won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait. You don't need to do this, Morton. You're not a murderer. <laughs> no. Not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malin. Get out. No warlock left. Project over. What if he talks to more Krogan? Tells the public about the modified genophage project? Special tasks group good at covering tracks. No proof. Warlock willingness to work with Salarian, unusual. Other Krogan will kill him. Aren't you worried that he'll start his research again? No. Locking this unit. Special task group can cut access to old data. Could start from scratch. Decades of work, though. Didn't teach you everything I knew. <laughs> you heard the <laughs> professor. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, professor. The genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Don't worry about me. <laughs> How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the genophage. Yes. So many variables. Stress responses. Impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research. Only loose end. Could destroy it. Closure. Security. Still valuable, though. Hmm. Both valid points. Keeping. Huh? Worth keeping. If you think it could be useful, why not hang on to it? Worked for years to create modified genophage. Should destroy this. Malin's work could cure genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. Still worth it to hold on to? Just in case? Uh, I'll, yeah, hold on to it. Keep the data. Better to have it and not need it. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure, but closer than starting from scratch. Done. Ready to go. Ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else. Maybe somewhere sunny. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <sighs> Morton, power unlocked. Neural shock. <laughs> oh man. Troubled by Clan that. Warlock's progress toward Genophage cure without Cerberus knowledge. Cure data may prove useful. Krogan dangerous, but if recruited as shock troops against Reapers, extremely valuable. Morden's assistant, no longer a problem. Morden will have no trouble focusing on mission. New outfit. Upgrade. 
weapon ammo, all the good stuff. Yeah. Is he gonna kick us to Normandy or nope, back to Tuchunka. Yes. Didn't need to switch members. Yeah. We'll head back to Normandy anyway. Yeah, you know, talk to people. Yeah, talk to people, wrap up this episode. Yep. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Yeah, well he can wait his fucking turn. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me, betrayed my work, disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new. <laughs> better goal, better purpose, fewer torture tests. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. <laughs> I need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tujanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Talk later. Dang. <laughs> I don't know what he said. What about it? It's over there, somewhere. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> Not my problem right now. And now, well, first off, mm. Morden gets 20% tech power damage. That sounds useful, and it's cheap. Yeah. And of course, the M920 Kane. Yeah. The yes. big boy. And while we're here. More Krogan health. Which is nice. I think that was the last of that. More ammo! More ammo! What can we get here? Emergency shielding? Unity restores squad member shields to full strength. You know, in case they yeah, ever fucking go down. Well, could be this one. I don't know. More biotic damage. That's definitely useful. Sniper headshot damage. Plus 50% for the entire squad. Worth it. Yep. Especially you know that you have. Plus 50% heavy pistol damage against armor. Yes. Yeah, you do use that heavy pistol, and it does do quite a lot of damage. SMG shield piercing. It could be useful. Really useful. You know, for Miranda or Morden. More damage for SMGs. At least that was cheap. Need more damage upgrades. Now look at that chain of things it has to say. <laughs> Shut up, elusive man. He'll wait his fucking turn. Oh, before I forget to do it. Mm, let's see. There we go. Hmm. Full face helmet now. Yay. Maybe we'll change some bonus. I guess that's for trading or something. I don't know if it's for tr trading or if it's actual rep, uh, rep bonus. But either way, it's full face helmet. I'm taking it. Fair enough. Let's see. The arm. These arms have shields 3%. The ones that we bought a minute ago. Had I thought we bought new ones. Maybe there were shorter pads? Nope. Okay. No. Oh, it was this one. Nope. I'm dumb. I have no idea what armor piece what we, did we get. <laughs> I just Oh, it it was the damping gauntlets. Oh. Shields by 5% mm. compared to shields by 3% but also weapon damage and melee damage. Yeah, we can keep those ones. Yeah, the catch part of the set anyway, so it looks better. Yeah. Now we have a lot of blue glow on us. Yeah. It's very important, right? This yeah. means we have more biotic power or something. Yeah. That was kind of a Jabba, a Jabba Fable, technically, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, more magic, more blue glowing lines. Oh, blue, yeah. Right? We changed the pattern on our armor if we wanted to. Oh, well, not a bad idea. I don't give enough of a shit, though. <laughs> I mean, we call you that for a reason. Ha ha.
The reason is it's your main game, but whatever. <laughs> oh, right. We may as well deliver those engineering conduits before we wrap yeah. this up. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. You're the best, Commander. Mm -hmm. We just got the best of us. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. You in, Tally? Sure, that sounds fun. Fantastic. Ooh, I'll get the cards. My skilly and five's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. <laughs> you win 500 credits. <laughs> okay. I'm not complaining. I can't believe we fell for that. Never <laughs> underestimate Shepard. So worth <laughs> losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own <laughs> game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know why I waited for a tally to do that. <laughs> Speaking of whom, Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? How are you, darling? I really need to clean up this engine. Aww. Maybe later. Speaking of which, can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? My shield fortification will help, uh, but okay. I don't think there is much more I can I can't remember do. We already got her. I can't remember That's if we already got hers. Yeah. Which means I think the only one left is Jacob's. I think actually. Huh. God, I can't tell you how relieved I am that the loading goes by quickly. Because that was such mm. a pain in the ass in the original version of this game. I can imagine. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy. But you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in secret dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Then pull a few favors. I'm in the wrong category. Heavy ship armor. The Asari made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. It will help hold the ship together if hit by blast powerful enough to penetrate its shields. We totally will never need that. Totally. I think that's all the required ship upgrades. Don't quote me on that. The elusive man I mean, we might as well get all of them. Shut up. If we can. Anyway, we can handle all that. Hoo-ha later. Next time. Next time, going right. Next time, going right back down to Tachunka. But this time with Grunt. Yay, Grunt. Laters.